हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू जे मल्टीअर्स चैनल टुडे वी विल कवर अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक नेमली स्मॉल एंगल अप्रॉक्सीमेशन दिस इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट अप्रॉक्सीमेशन दैट विल बी यूजफुल इन मेनी फिजिक्स प्रॉब्लम्स एंड वी कैन से मेनी डेरिवेशन ऑफ फॉर्मूलाज अप्रॉक्सीमेटेड फॉर्मूलाज एंड दिस अप्रॉक्सीमेशन रिलेटेड टू ट्रिगोनोमेट्री सो आई हैव रिटर्न हियर थीटा लेस इन फाइव डिग्री थीटा इज अवर स्मॉल एंगल ओके थीटा इज अवर स्मॉल एंगल एंड इफ दिस एंगल इज लेस देन फाइव डिग्री देन वी कैन अप्लाई दिस अप्रॉक्सीमेशन स्मॉल एंगल अप्रॉक्सीमेशन राइट सो इफ थीटा इज लेस देन फाइव डिग्री वी कैन अप्लाई दिस अप्रॉक्सीमेशन एंड लेसर द वैल्यू ऑफ थीटा मोर एक्यूरेट विल बी अवर अप्रॉक्सीमेशन सो लेट्स सी वॉट द अप्रॉक्सीमेशन इज सो इफ थीटा इज लेस देन फाइव डिग्री then sin theta is nearly equal to theta but now question arises in our mind that if we are asked with value of sin 4 degree then it would be nearly equal to 4 but we know that sin theta is uh, is between 1 and minus 1 so how this came here but my dear friends this we can apply this formula when theta is in radians not in degrees theta should be in standard units not in another units else this would not be applicable we need to first convert this in radian okay in radian then we can apply sin theta nearly equal to theta and here this is correct range theta in radian is less than 5 degree this means that theta is less than 5 pi by 180 radians okay if theta is less than 5 pi by 180 radians then we can apply this approximation so if sin theta less than 5 pi by 180 radians or we can say theta less than 5 degrees both are same thing okay both are same thing because 5 pi by 180 radians is 5 degree and here pi is a one an indicator that this angle is given in radians generally generally if pi is there in a the value of any angle then we have to assume that it is in radians because it will not indicate us by like doing this symbol it is not found in physics it may be found in maths but not in physics and we are we are talking about physics so here to focus on that so i told that sin theta is nearly equal to theta now let me give an example suppose we are asked to find the cell value of sin 1 degree so first we will convert 1 degree into radians now i have taught the relation between degree and radians in first lecture of trigonometry right units of angles and trigonometry its name title of that lecture so if you don't know that you must watch that see we know that pi radians equal to 180 degree we know this relation right so from this we can say that 1 degree equal to pi by 180 radians so sin 1 degree sin 1 degree is equal to sin of pi by 180 radians right and now we can apply this formula sin theta nearly equal to theta therefore sin pi by 180 is nearly equal to pi by 180 here pi is approx we can write pi is 3.14 but writing it is pi is much better so sin pi by 180 is nearly equal to pi by 180 okay so this is our approximation this is our approximation but approximation is not finished here there are more much more approximation now we will see approximation is cosine function for small angle theta cosine of theta is nearly equal to 1 now this is an obvious thing because we know that cos theta is decreasing function as the value of inc theta increases when zero when we talk in range 0 to pi by 2 as theta increases 0 to 90 degree means as theta increases value of cos theta decreases so value of cos theta will be maximum near when the angle is 0 degree so now theta is small so it is nearly near to 0 degree as the cos theta will be near to its maximum value hence cos theta will be nearly equal to 1 yeah if you can't understand this analysis then don't worry just understand just learn that If theta is less than theta is very small, small means theta is less than pi pi by one eighty radians. Then we can approximate cos theta nearly equal to one. Now let's see an example that if we are asked the value of cos two degree, 
ओके सो वी कैन राइड एज नाउ we can write directly equal to 1 because there is no necessary to convert it into radius because ultimately if theta is less than the 5 degree or 5 pi by 180 radius it will be equal to 1 right it will be directly equal to 1 so we can directly write cos 2 degree equal to cos 2 pi by 180 radian and it would be 1 only it would be 1 only right so this is our approximation that cos theta is nearly equal to 1 and sin theta is nearly equal to theta whereas theta is in radians we should take care of that unit now let now you you be able to tell the approximation in case of tan theta because we know that tan theta is equal to sin theta by cos theta now if we have we know that tan theta equal to sin theta by cos theta now for small values we know that sin theta is nearly equal to theta and cos theta is nearly equal to 1 therefore from this we also get approximation that tan theta is nearly equal to theta so this means that tan theta is nearly equal to sin theta is nearly equal to theta for small values of theta right okay so for small values of theta we can say this that tan theta is nearly equal to sin theta is nearly equal to theta so let me give another example so that we are asked the value of sin sorry not sin 10 10 uh, uh, we are asked the value of 10 to uh, we can say 2.5 degrees so let we need to first convert it into radius right first convert it into radius and th this we should not uh, do this mistake of unit 10 of 2.5 degrees nearly equal to 10 no it is equal to 10 of 2.5 pi by 180 right uh, radians in this angle is in radians and now we can write directly equal to 2.5 pi by 180 and even in case of sin of 2.5 degrees same value will come because sin theta is also equal to theta for small values of theta so sin theta will also equal to this so this is the concept this is approximation and it is very useful even if when we are studying differentiation in that uh, when deriving of the de when we are finding derivative of y equal to sin x functions it will be this approximation will help in means uh, to find derivative of uh, sin fun trigo functions okay so this is enough so let in continuation let's study sin rule and cos rule these are very small concepts and also helpful concepts so i thought i should cover in this lecture only because all the three topics means the small angle approximation and this sin and cos rule are small topics so they can be covered in one video only so sin and cos rule okay so first talk about sin rule okay now for example this uh, we have we are given with a triangle let's see this angle be beta this angle be gamma and this angle be alpha and let name the point our three points as a this point as b and this point as c and we are given that sine length of side length okay okay side length of ac is b and sine length side length of ab is c and side length of bc is a so our what is sin rule here that uh, sin gamma by b is equal to sin beta by c and this is equal to sin alpha by a means if we talk about angle at the sin of angle a dear by side that is opposite to this angle a means uh, if op, this angle is angle a now the side opposite to angle a is this side bc hence this here a will come okay here a will come this is a trick to remember this rule and this is also helpful to make the problems of physics easy especially in many chapters in mechanics also okay so you should learn this and you should keep this in your mind and this will be also be helpful and now let's see what is cos rule so on let's make a triangle again so it will be better for us to understand so a b and c 
and our angles are beta alpha and gamma and side lengths are a b and c a b small a b c are side lengths okay so our our uh, cos rule is c square is equal to a square plus b square minus 2 ab cos gamma so this is cos rule this means that side this side square is equal to sum of side uh, squares of adjacent sides okay minus 2 into product of adjacent side into here not cos theta wait let me correct this this is cos gamma okay not 2ab cos gamma so sum of adjacent squares of adjacent sides minus 2 into product of adjacent sides into cos of the angle that is made by the two adja two sides other than this ab yeah this will be this you have to remember also there is not that much trick okay and this will also help so let's complete our leg so he, we are completed with our lecture so please watch this our lecture and please subscribe our channel and share this as much as possible thanks for watching